and welcome. Today we are going to briefly talk about the new extension in Visual Studio Code by Oracle. Oracle is the company that also owns Java and they have they released uh, an extension lately which has been as uh, and I, I'm going to talk about my experience with it. Def to start with the pros, the the benefits of the goodness of the new extension. Basically, it works like a charm on Windows. I've used it on Windows, and uh, you can you can in fact to install it you you can head over to extensions, which should be here or optionally press control shift x on windows or command shift x if you're on on mac os so and then from there you can search for java oracle which should be able to find the extension so java oracle so this is the extension and I've disabled it so in fact I'm, I'm going to demonstrate this I'm going to since I've already installed I'm just going to enable you will need to install it to use it definitely so let me just enable and then because I usually use the extension by Microsoft let me just uh, disable so extension pack for Java let me just disable this reload that I don't want to so that I can show you the experience of Oracle so the seemingly the memory usage is lower the memory consumption is lower by this extension compared to the extension pack by Microsoft and could be because Microsoft extensions are not just one but several extensions that work together to deliver a great experience in Java development so when you look at this extension you will realize and I will show you for example if I want to create a map variable for example and then so if I type map string and then string map is a new new ash map so let me just create a new ash map so definitely and I think you can see and you will realize that I'm typing everything here I'm typing everything this extension is not helping me you can see so I've not been able to to configure it to automatically import uh, classes or packages so you see I'll need to install I need to import manually here like Java Because in a Nash map, I need to import it.
understand the cause Okay, this corner. So let's see if I want to print something. Uh, what is called extension. So let's just run and see. Yes, amazing. Uh, called extension. So definitely, and uh, you'll realize that. It is giving me errors that are simply non-existent and if I go to auto save it is it is enabled so if I have enabled auto save I don't understand why it can't see that I have already entered the semicolon after the statement so basically but given that it is still a young extension you can expect such errors and I'm sure Oracle is working on it. So far it is an efficient extension and for most people it can work but I wouldn't encourage someone who is still learning to use this extension because it will really be frustrating because if you need to type everything unless you want to to learn slowly by being able to know every package otherwise you will struggle to work with it and it will also increase the time that you you use to type and that may lower your productivity so those are my thoughts about the new extension by oracle for java development and let me know your experience I was unable to set it up in my Mac. I did install it and configure it, but seemingly it was demanding that I must uh, I must create an a Cradle project or a Maven project in order for me to use it. And that can explain why it is giving me problems here because this is not a Cradle project or or a, or a Maven project. This is neither. So others, thanks guys for watching. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from you, your experience, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks.